When you talk about Mars, that's the only place you can go. There is no other planet we can go to other than Mars. Uh, you can't go to Jupiter or Saturn, you right. can't go to Mercury or Venus. So if we want to go somewhere and expand our civilization, it has to be Mars. And everything's there that you need. That's a different thing to saying that you want to find out stuff. If we just want to find out stuff, then you send robots. Essentially what happened before the Big Bang. If you define the Big Bang as the time when the universe was very hot and very dense, our best theory of how the universe got into that state is that there was a time before that, and it's called inflation. So the idea is the universe was, in a sense, cold and empty and expanding extremely fast. And that expansion slowed down and stopped. And the, the energy that was driving that expansion got dumped into space, heated it up, and made all the particles out of which we're made. And that's what we call the Big Bang. It's a textbook theory called inflation. It made predictions, some of which have been tested, some incredible predictions actually about the way that galaxies are distributed across the sky because they're not just random. If you look at the galaxies, they're, they're in sort of flows and rivers of galaxies that cross the sky in a pattern called the cosmic web. And inflation predicted that before it was seen actually, so it's an astonishing idea. That theory has a kind of an extension called eternal inflation, which is that the inflation essentially goes on forever and it just stops in little patches. So you imagine this, this the fabric of the universe, space time, stretch, 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 and then it slows down and stops in little patches. And each one of those patches is basically a big bang and a universe of which ours is one. So you end up with this sort of picture of a, an infinite fractal universe of, of, of basically an infinite number of big bangs. And that's called the inflationary multiverse.